I'm a writer and comic, but I'm an expert on Madonna. I'm an entertainment writer, but I'm an expert at Melrose Place. I'm a film student, but I'm an expert at Batman. All right, experts, welcome to the show. It's round one. Our game is played in four rounds. And as you know, in round one, you're going to answer 10 questions apiece. We'll start with Lewis. Lewis, you are our Madonna expert. Here is your first question. As of mid-2013, what are the titles of Madonna's first and most recent albums? Madonna and MDNA. That is correct. Question two. Who was Madonna's third album, True Blue, dedicated to? Uh, Sean Penn. That is right. Three. What was Madonna's full baptism name? Uh, Madonna Louise Veronica Ciccone. That is exactly right. <laughs> Moving awesome on. Name. What song did Madonna sing that earned Stephen Sondheim a best, best original song Oscar? Sooner or later. And we move to question five. What is Madonna's only top ten song with a title not in English? Only, uh, La Isla Bonita. That's right. Can you sing it? Sure can't. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't qualify as singing. You're otherwise <laughs> perfect thus far. In the Material Girl video, Madonna imitates Marilyn Monroe singing what song from what movie? Uh, Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend from Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. We move on. In what song does Madonna sing about pink elephants? Dear Jesse. Dear Jesse is your seventh correct answer. Question eight. With what two actors does Madonna sing duets in Evita? Uh... Uh, Antonio Banderas and God I hate Evita uh, and the, and the other actor is oh God uh, me <laughs> bingo oh, God. you're right yes. uh, it's Thank Jonathan you. Price Jonathan, Jonathan Price yeah. question nine what tour was chronicled in the documentary Truth or Dare Blonde Ambition it Blonde was a good Ambition one. is right and your last question of the first round. What is Madonna's character's first and last name in A League of Their Own? Uh, she is called All the Way May Mortabito. <laughs> All the Way May Mortabito, 9 out of 10. Well done, Lewis. Yeah. Connery, we come to you. You are our Batman expert. You're an expert on the current Batman comic series as well as some of the graphic novels. So here we go. <laughs> You, you know, your friend Lewis got nine, so I let's know, see what happens here. Question one. What is the name of the 2011 DC Comics initiative where they relaunched all their monthly superhero books, including Batman? New 52. The New 52 is right. The Batman comics listed under the New 52 label are also known as what volume number? Uh, one. Two. Sorry. What is the name of the chemical plant where the Joker jumped into the acid? Ace Chemicals. Ace Chemicals is right. <laughs> you got it. Uh, he first became disfigured there. Question four. In the Court of Owls, part six, beneath the glass, by what route does Batman eventually escape from the labyrinth? Uh, he escapes. <laughs> he... He goes Probably to, through the ice. I don't know. Is that, on the, the Gotham River. He takes the Gotham ice. River. That actually happened to Madonna once. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> I love when there's crossover. That's nice. fantastic. Uh, <laughs> Connery, what is Selena Kyle's profession at the time Bruce Wayne encounters her in Batman Year One? Um, she's a prostitute. Yep, the oldest <laughs> profession she could have yes. been. We move to question six. Batman Volume Two, issue number zero, was released between what other two issue numbers? It was released between issues, oh, uh, I think 11 and 12? 12, 12 and 13. 12 and 13. Just one off. <laughs> Question seven, at the beginning of The Killing Joke, whose prison cell does Batman pass on the way to visit the Joker? Two-Face. Exactly right, Harvey Dent, Two-Face. Yeah. On the primary cover of Batman issue number 18, Resolve, a robin is perched atop what item of apparel? Damian Wayne's old boots. That's right. <laughs> That's why you're an expert. Question <laughs> nine. In the first issue of the Death of the Family arc, the Joker kills the policeman protecting Mayor Haiti by embedding components of his Joker venom in what two places? One in their uniforms and then in the carpet cleaner. That's exactly right. <laughs> Question 10 is, in the issue The Court of Owls Part 1 Knife Trick, what five-word message does Batman discover at the crime scene when he lights the linseed oil on fire? Bruce Wayne will die tomorrow. Look at that. Well done, Connery. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Hiko, 
It's your turn. Your category is Melrose Place, the TV series. Yes. Here we go. What show did Melrose Place spin off from? Beverly Hills 90210. Played by Heather Locklear, what is Amanda's last name? Woodward. That is correct. Who is the only character he go to be credited in every episode of the show? The character or the actor? The character. Uh, Dr. Michael Mancini. Michael is correct. One of the main hangouts on the show, what is the name of the bar that Jake owns? Shooters. That's correct. Four for four. <laughs> what season three episode shares its title with a current top-rated sitcom? Ooh. <laughs> oh, the Big Bang Theory. Oh, you're right. Yeah, look at that. He got it out of nowhere. What, in question six here, what does Joe have stolen from her twice in season three? Her baby. That's right. Her baby? <laughs> who, plays from... Bra who plays Brandy Carson, the beauty queen who seduces Michael when he's judging a beauty contest? That would be Denise Richards. That would be right. Question eight, what two men's babies does Amanda miscarry? Billy's and Kyle's. That's right. You got, got them both. What know. series regular <laughs> went on to star on Darren Starr's Sex in the City? Kristen Davis. Is correct. After the series ended, Hiko, a number of news stories reported that crew members were selling bottles of what on eBay? The pool water. The pool water is right. You are perfect. <laughs> Come on back and watch round two Not by clicking oh. forward. You can read me every single day at thebacklot.com up here, or whatever, you can go to the next round too.